Um, the question is, so does the soul have a propensity one way or the other uh, when it when it starts out the journey or does it all depend on the influences that it's getting as to which way it goes? At the time of conception, no, it doesn't have a propensity either way. That's why it's an open book. It can receive anything from its parents. And this is the critical part of being a parent. Just by becoming pregnant, you are now influencing the will of another person. And, and now their will is going to determine what you have not understood about will. So, so if you haven't understood a large deal about will and so you've engaged your will negatively and out of harmony with love many times, these emotions are stored within you as a result, then of course from the time of conception, particularly until the time the child is out of your control, and most of us feel it's out of our control, not, you know, that's how we view children, um, we, we have a tendency then, uh, all through that time as a parent, we're now influencing the will of another. Now, if that is out of harmony with love, there are like consequential, from God's perspective, there's consequences if it's out of harmony with love. And unfortunately for the majority of us, we've influenced our children out of harmony with love. Right? This is why it's, the imperative is for us to address these issues. Because from the time of conception to a couple of years of age in particular, the child is already being influenced, has already had their will influenced out of harmony with love, and it's been our fault. <laughs> which will of course be attributed to us. Law so, of so then every subsequent interaction with any of these things is going to be slanted towards... Towards error. Mm, it's towards going error. to be slanted to the world's definition of love, isn't it? So remember, remember the world's definition a lot of the times, not all the time, so the world's definition is of love is, is frequently on this side of the equation, isn't it? Right? It's frequently on that side of the equation. So, so naturally, if the world's definition of love is something I've imbibed and then I have a child, then of course my child now is absorbing the world's definition of love before it even has a chance to exercise or discover its will. And it's reinforced continuously by the world's uh, delivery of... Exactly, it's after it's born, it's mm. reinforced. And this is what we meant in the Bible when we referred to the sin of the father being passed on to the son for generation after generation. Now that's a Bible quote, I think Luke wrote it and a, and, and a number of others. Um, so, you know, this is the sin of the generation being passed on to the next generation. All right. Thank you.